two families of small regulatory RNAs called microRNAs and small interfering RNAs or siRNAs regulate the stability and translation of mRNAs in eukaryotes. Both classes of small RNA associate with a family of proteins known as argonauts, but differ in their origin, processing pathway, targets and mechanism of action. We will first focus on microRNAs and then point out the similarities with and differences from siRNAs. MicroRNAs derive from actual genes found in genomes across the lineages of multicellular animals and plants. These RNAs begin as primary transcripts or PRI microRNAs and are usually transcribed by RNA polymerase II. The PRI microRNA transcript folds into a stem loop structure that generally has some unpaired nucleotides and single-stranded extensions are found at both the 5' prime and 3' prime ends. This structure serves as the initial substrate for processing by Drosha, a nuclear RNA's 3 enzyme. Drosha interacts with a specialised RNA binding protein called DGCR8 in humans to form what is termed the microprocessor complex. This complex performs a cleavage reaction that removes the 5' prime and 3' prime extension and liberates a 60 to 70 nucleotide transcript known as a pre-microRNA. The pre-microRNA generated by the microprocessor complex is recognised by a nuclear export factor called exporting 5, which transports the pre-microRNA to the cytoplasm for subsequent processing. In the cytoplasm, a second endonucleotic cleavage reaction, generally referred to as dicing, is catalyzed by DISA, another RNA's 3 enzyme. DISA is found in complex with a double-stranded RNA binding protein called the TAR RNA binding protein 2 or TRBP2. The product of this second cleavage reaction is called the Mir-Mir star duplex. It carries 5' prime monophosphates and 3' prime overhangs of two nucleotides which is not fully complementary. The two strands of this duplex RNA are called the guide and passenger strands. Once the mir mir star duplex has been generated, it is loaded into the argonaut protein that is dedicated to microRNA mediated silencing reactions. If the duplex is loaded in an appropriate orientation, one of the RNA strands, called the mir guide strand, is retained, while the other strand, the mir star passenger strand, is selectively removed. The guide strand will ultimately be involved in determining which target RNAs will be silenced. This process of retaining one strand and removing the other is called sorting. For imperfect mir mir star duplexes, it is not certain how the passenger strand is identified and selectively removed, though the action of a helicase may well be helpful. Argonaut proteins charged with their guide microRNAs are referred to as the MI risk complex. The complex is now ready to bind its target RNA and promote gene silencing. Argonauts bound to microRNAs typically identify sequences with imperfect complementarity in the three prime UTRs of mRNAs. The most important pairing region for the microRNA is referred to as the seed sequence, which generally encompasses nucleotide positions 2 to 8 of the microRNA species. The absence of extended duplex formation allows the 3' prime end of the microRNA to remain securely bound to the PAS domain of the argonaut protein. As a consequence, the PWE domain of the argonaut protein is generally not positioned appropriately to cleave mRNAs that are targeted by microRNAs. Once bound to targets, MI risks appear to recruit additional factors, including in particular a protein that contains multiple glycine tryptophan repeats, which is known as TRNC6 in humans. This protein is thought to be involved in repressing translation and in destabilizing the mRNA through mechanisms that remain poorly understood. What is clear is that the repression mechanism does not depend on the slical activity of the argonaut protein. In contrast to microRNAs, siRNAs are not generally encoded in the genome as specific genes. Instead, siRNAs are derived from double-stranded RNA that comes from several different sources. Endogenous duplex RNA can arise from the normal transcription of genomic loci that have extensive hairpin structures or from the annealing of sense and antisense RNAs that have both been transcribed from a given locus. Exogenous sources of double-stranded RNA include viral RNAs and duplex structures that have been synthetically introduced into cells by scientists for experimental purposes. Irrespective of their origins, duplex RNAs become substrates for an RNA processing reaction akin to the one described for the microRNAs, but without the first nuclear Drosha-dependent cleavage only dicing by the dicer enzyme is needed. 
The cytoplasmic enzyme sequentially cleaves the long duplex structures approximately every 20 to 25 base pairs. The cutting frame is set by interactions between the double-stranded RNA and the PAS region of the DISA protein. The products of the DISA reaction are short duplex RNAs, similar to the mere mir star duplexes, but fully base paired along their length. Once the SIR-SIR star duplex has been generated, it also is loaded into the appropriate argonaut protein, and the SIR star passenger strand is selectively removed. For these fully complementary SIR-SIR star duplexes, the endogenous endonuclease activity of the PWE domain of the argonaut protein catalyzes cleavage of the passenger strand. The cleaved strands are then easily unwound and released. This mechanism makes use of the RNA's H-fold of the PWE domain and acidic residues that are poised in the active site for such catalysis. The resulting single-stranded SI risk complexes can now scan for their fully complementary target RNAs. In contrast to the situation with the MI risk complexes, fully complementary binding to the target RNAs leads to the 3' prime end of the SI RNA being displaced from the PAS domain of the argonaut as extended duplex nucleic acid forms. This results in conformational changes that activate the cleavage activity of the RNA's HPV domain. The cleavage reaction is referred to as slicing. Products of the slicing reaction are thought to immediately become targets for the exosome and other standard RNA decay pathways in the cell.